proudly brought to you by Durban Tourism. San Monani and welcome. KwaZulu Natal and the city of Durban has always been South Africa's playground. It's known for its gorgeous coastline of sun-kissed beaches and laid-back outdoor lifestyle. Durban is a city with a wealth of things to do and see. And in the next few minutes, we'll take you through some of those highlights on offer, proving once again that Durban has more. So join me, Ropi Wamadzena, as we do KZN. Now, besides Durban's reputation for fun and entertainment, the city is also fast developing a standing as a culinary destination too. And Chartwell Drive in Mplanga is one of KZN's most popular restaurant hubs. With the beach just a stone throw away, both locals and out-of-towners flock to this tourist-friendly strip for the wide choice of cuisines, restaurants and charm. say we're a destination that caters for the whole family. So a typical family say arriving from the UK with the announcement now of the British Airways uh, direct flight for instance from London to Durban, we do we are going to go on a more aggressive uh, campaign in Europe to market uh, the destination and so you'd want to sell a package that appeals to the various members of the family. Obviously, it depends on, on the buying power of those visitors. Those that want high-end experience, you know, world-class facilities will prefer, you know, destination I mean, uh, uh, like Umsanga as their entertainment districts because they will get those upmarket hotels and restaurants and that Chartwell Drive so happens to be that entertainment street or entertainment district as you may call it these days for those people that would be residing in the northern part of, of Deben, Umsanga area. So Umsanga gives you the feel of restaurants, five-star hotels. Um, it also gives you a feel of the office parks and there's a lot of development and potential developments that are going to be happening in Umtanga, which is quite phenomenal and it's quite great. Uh, actually, we get domestic tourists a lot here, like uh, you get uh, means of you know, people from Cape Town, people from Johannesburg, but it's getting colder. Durban is the warmest city in uh, South Africa and it is South Africa's playground. So you also get uh, international tourists. The Umslanga area is a cosmopolitan, um, you know, international city feel where you are able to have sundowners, you know, you know, dip your feet, uh, you know, on the beach during the day and then go off with friends and really have cocktails and have a, a wonderful nightlife. Uh, we've got world-class restaurants and so it gives that global, world-class city feel and very popular with local tourists as well. So from a domestic tourism, it's seen as, we are called the Miami of Africa. And so Mutlanga area is seen as offering that Miami experience of Africa. Uh, this is very important because it diversifies and it caters for everybody in a, every age group. Because uh, it just, you can actually literally spend a week here in Mutlanga and eat in all different restaurants on this road alone. Never minding Gateway, we have the Gateway Shopping Center uh, here in uh, Durban, which is it's in within Mtlang. It's about two minutes away from where we are at Chasol Drive. Gateway is the second biggest uh, shopping center in, in the Southern Hemisphere currently. We make sure that each and every area has got a similar kind of experience. If you want to get away and have sort of everything in just one destination within the close uh, proximity, um, Deben is a place for you. If you're in the city, it's hard to miss the famous Moses Mabida Stadium. With its iconic arch of triumph, the 56th 
6,000 person capacity stadium is an engineering feat that provides Durban with a defining landmark to rival the rest of the world. Voted the most popular stadium in South Africa, Moses Mabida hosted seven FIFA World Cup matches in 2010, including a semi-final. The shape of the iconic arch was inspired by the Y shape on the South African flag and the colour arrangement of the seating was conceptualised to look like the sea flowing into the beach. Now the sky car over the arch gives you the chance to discover Durban from a 106 metre high vantage point. Or if you're brave enough, you can free fall 80 metres into the stadium ball on the world's tallest swing. Those of you who are looking for a more peaceful way to spend your day, take a drive down the south coast where one business owner is turning an area with a segregated history into a pleasant experience for everybody. If you drive around 15 kilometers south of Amanzim Toti, just inland from Umkumas, you'll find not only unrivaled tranquility, but also a story of success. Mnini Dam was created in the 1950s to provide water to the titanium mine at nearby Umgababa Beach. But while the titanium operation dried up in the early 70s, the dam itself was destined for greater things. Mnini Dam is in between of Amanzimtoti, which is very much important where the king, uh, Shaga, came and tasted the water and said, Amanzi Amtoti. So it's a very rich tourism destination, this south coast. The Amanzi Amtoti is 25 kilometers from Durban city center. It's such a unique um, sort of um, experience to all the other um, uh, coastlines in the, in the city center in that it's conducive to family visitors. And then Omnini Dam now adds to those kinds of products that exist in that vicinity. The dam boasts largemouth bass, tilapia, and an abundance of bird life. A network of trails around the dam allow for endless exploring for the energetic. And the gazebo's bar and grill on site provide plenty of opportunities for relaxation. The best fishing, which is very uh, uh, attractive to us, the fishermen in KZN in South, is uh, tilapia. And, and as well as eel. We also does the, the functions, the weddings. We also does the parties, bachelor parties, uh, birthday parties. So you find that Durban um, during peak holiday season is quite, there's quite a lot of tourism and so you find the outlying areas of the province enjoying you know, the spillover and South Coast is another very popular destination again because it's coastal and also it's cost effective. And so, you know, um, in terms of the offerings of that particular area. So we've been working with the local municipality in saying around the Mnini Dam, we have a hiking route that we are working with the local municipality on. And so the Mnini Dam and the hiking route and other projects that we're working on are to say, how do you then position the South Coast area to also be more responsive to the international tourist in terms of its offerings? Again, with insights that have been found in terms of what really tour operators when they package a destination are looking for. Under the apartheid regime, Umgababa Beach was the only holiday resort on South Africa's south coast open to the black population. But now Mnini Dam is just one of the proudly black owned tourism operations in the area that caters to everyone, supplying jobs to around 30 seasonal workers. It's not easy, but because of the municipality, Deben Tourism, together with the Green Corridor, they, they are trying to make my life very easy. What we like about the city is that we're not in this for the liking. It's we are in this for economic development and job creation. And that being the, the black business on its own um, is, is a win for us. And that he has managed to also employ on a full-time basis a number um, of employees and also on a part-time basis when he holds uh, big events, that is Mr. Shezi, the owner of um, Omnini Dam. He also creates that employment. That's exactly what we want to achieve as the city. The dam's popularity rises with every passing month, with plans to expand on the horizon. With the statistics that we are working on it, 
uh, because we are busy with the, what you call the, the feasibility study of uh, building the accommodation. Uh, as you can see, we've got a vacant land on the site. So we're building the accommodation, we're building the conference center, the wedding venue. It's going to be in, maybe in no short period of time will be erected as a business person being disadvantaged. I would also very, very, very much happy if I can get the investors to come and invest with me here because this is not a small project, it's a huge project that needs a lot of money. Right now we're sitting on the estimates of plus or minus 80 million to do the whole uh, development. While Mnini Dam remains a little-known gem in KwaZulu-Natal's tourism offerings, it surely won't be for long. Both peaceful and practical, it's a small piece of perfection tucked away in the south coast's rolling hills, with something on offer for every member of the family. If you've got more of an artistic inclination, why not pay a visit to the KwaZulu-Natal Society of Arts? Established in 1906, the gallery in Goodwood is an integral part of the culture and heritage of the South African province. It was initially set up as a more casual platform for artists to exhibit their work, but it's grown and evolved into the widest known and best respected galleries in the province. And that's all for now, but join us next week where we'll have more tourist highlights to show you. I'm Ropi Wamadzana and do remember that KZN has more. <laughs>